Okay guys, this is a flash update on the Elm battery that I was showing you at nighttime. Now it's daytime. I hope you can see these batteries. Now I boiled these batteries, uh, um, I hate to say it that way, I hate to put it that way, but I, um, I boiled these batteries or I, I uh, put a small charge on them all night and all day so that Elm would mix well uh, into the battery plates and whatever little bit of acid that was left in there would uh, thoroughly mix so there's a slight bit uh, trapped in the padding of acid in the plate but the goal here is to form the plates and then pulse charge you can see I hope you can see is this is pulse charging right now and it's going from 20 18 to 30s and um, all I've got is a 5 amp input. Can you see that? 5 amps or a little maybe on a little more. As these 100 amp hour batteries will go down. These are also, uh, these input batteries, two of them together are uh, 100 amp hours, 12 volts each. So 24 volts, two 100 amp hour batteries charging 1600. Well, this is... 880 right now and you can see the meter the meter if you can see the meter yeah it was at around 13 volts and then after it set well it was like 13 it still hadn't come all the way down because I haven't I haven't gotten these to to uh, set at the higher level yet because I have never had them fully charged. That's what I'm doing now. I'm working on getting these fully charged, which is going to take probably days to get the sulfation off the plates of these batteries. But that's it. I'm trying to build a bigger cap dump so I can really slam these batteries, but for now I don't have it. Okay, I just wanted to share that update with you on the big bank and the process of, of bringing their... Uh, the charge up and part of the rejuvenation process bringing the charge up to 15 volts somewhere thereabouts or more if you can right now the highest I've had it is uh, 1475 these were at 1475 both banks of 12s and this is uh, 12 volts and at uh, 1700 plus amp hours Okay, this is Mike out. Bye.